Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason. Welcome to the Honda Pro Show, watched by millions worldwide and kept alive because you subscribe. This week, I have information about the Tokyo Motor Show, a new hydrogen car coming out by Honda, and new information on the 2016 Honda Civic. All this and more coming up next. <laughs> Welcome to this week's edition of the Honda Pro Show. I'm Honda Pro Jason. With me as always is my cameraman, Matt. Hello, everyone. Hey, Matt. Wow. I really like saying hey to you, and it's been 103 shows, so I guess we've said hi 103 times? Seems about right, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, we are into the month of October, which means I will be wearing pink all month long. So that's all my events, every day at work, uh, on my off time, anywhere I go, I will be wearing usually a shirt that's pink, but if I don't have a shirt, it'll probably be socks or pants or we'll figure it out, I'm sure. This week, we're gonna start out with the 2016 Civic because it's been all over the news. I just got back from LA. I was out there for the unveiling at YouTube Space. This was so cool. They had the band Night Riots playing. They had probably about uh, 60 to 80 people there and it was a blast. The car looks awesome. What most impressed me was the interior. And the outside looks great, and we've all seen pictures of the outside. But when you get in the car, and you feel the textures, and you look and you see how this thing's been built, it is insane. They have this beautiful seven inch screen right in front of you. And when you first see it, you're gonna think it's awkward because it almost looks like it's like an iPod deck where they kind of plug the screen in because there's a little area behind the screen and it's not really built into the dash. And I talked to one of the interior designers about it and he said, you know what, for the future when things change, next year we might be going to like a curved glass or a bigger or longer screen, it'll be easily replaced without redoing the whole dash. Like, wow, that, that's really thinking ahead. So I did a video on it, you guys can see the gauges turn on and everything. And that'll be a preview because I'm going to Detroit on October 5th and 6th to actually drive the car. Yeah, the turbo version. They're gonna have the 2.0 liter naturally aspirated, then they're gonna have the 1.5 liter turbo. I'll be driving them both. I'll be giving you guys reviews very soon. You guys know how much I love Honda videos. From the classic video, the COG, to Honda's hands video, to all the Type R videos, they really push the limits. This time, there's a video that just hit the top of my list. It's called Paper by PES Film, and this is amazing. It's not done with any CGI. It's filmed with stop action. And what they did is they actually drew on pieces of paper the whole Honda history. And as they flipped them over, it makes it look like it's moving. It is truly magnificent. It's two minutes. It's something you guys have to see. I'll put a link below for you guys to check it out. A Honda Pro Jason side note. On November 1st, 1982, Honda produced their very first vehicle in North America. It was at their Marysville plant. And now, Honda has just produced their 30 millionth vehicle in North America. It's a lot of vehicles. It's time for the 44th Tokyo Motor Show. One day, I'm gonna do a whole segment in that voice. But really, it is time for the 44th Tokyo Motor Show the end of October, and Honda is gonna make a huge splash. So huge that I think that's all anyone's gonna talk about when the show's over. They have the new hydrogen car, the FCV, fuel cell vehicle. Now sure, Toyota is releasing their hydrogen car before us. It's okay though, ours is getting 400 miles per tank. Yeah, 400 miles per tank, that's gonna be awesome. They also have a new three-wheeled motorcycle, a couple other new motorcycles. They're gonna show off the Type R. They're gonna show off some new people mover that uses the Unicub's like, way of moving back and forth. So the car is not just gonna go, or the unit, is not just gonna transport people forward and backward. It's gonna transport people sideways, depending on which way they lean, possibly. So that's gonna be something really interesting. And I have not made it out to the Tokyo Motor Show yet. It does happen every other year, so I didn't make it this year. But let's say 2016, 2017, plan on me covering some stuff from that show. 
Hot off the presses, we have some rumors. The next generation Odyssey in Japan is going to go hybrid. So I wonder if the 2017 new Odyssey here in America will also be hybrid. It's fun fact time. When Honda came out with the first passenger vehicle in Japan, the S500, the color red wasn't allowed to be painted on vehicles. It was reserved for fire trucks. So Sarichiro Honda argued his case, saying it was an integral part of the design. He won. And now Honda is credited for bringing red vehicles to Japan. And that's your fun fact of the week. It's Honda Pro Mail time. This package comes all the way from France. There's a note that says, hi Jason, here are some catalogs of the new Honda models. Hope you enjoy them. Um, I'm sending you a whole collection. Best regards, Frank. Thank you, Frank. And what we have is we have these Powered by Honda stickers with Senna's mask on there and some other really cool stickers and a little McLaren thing. We also have a Type R catalog from France, a Jazz catalog from France, an HRV catalog from France, and another Jazz catalog from France. Super, super cool stuff. Uh, Frank's a big supporter of mine. He sends me links and stuff all the time, so that's super cool, dude. Thank you so much. And now comes the end of the show. And it was a great show. Like, we went through a lot of really cool stuff. I have a lot of stuff coming up. I get to drive the new Civic that I talked to you guys about. I'm going down to Tampa, Florida for an event called The Gathering on October 18th. Hopefully you guys can make it. It'll be my very first trip to um, Tampa, which will be cool. And because it is October, it is Breast Awareness Month, I will be wearing pink. My giveaway this week is going to be these pink armbands I have. And they say in the no, and they have the pink ribbon on each side. So I'm going to give away 10 of these. I wear one of these myself, as you guys can see. And what I'm going to ask you guys is something very simple. I'd like to know, are you going to wear this on your right hand or your left hand? Leave your creative comments below. I'll be picking 10 winners and send you guys out these bracelets. Thank you so much for watching the show. And as always, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.